to give the name some randomness. In this case, you want to use a concept of random within bounds for the expire variable, which will make it impossible to know how many tosses it will take for the hot potato to expire. Go to Operators and drag a Set block in the Loop Forever block and select Number. Now you can drag the expire variable into the Set block to the left of the equal sign. Now drag a Random Integer operator to the right of the equal sign. Notice there are two types of random operators. Int, or integer, means it will be a whole number, like 4. If you picked random float, the result could be a number with a decimal, like 4.15. Using an integer here keeps your logic simpler, but you will use float values in future activities. Now you see the random integer operator offers two fields to set a range of values, the minimum and maximum, that you want the random number to fall within. This is just like the playing cards example explained in the introduction. Let's make it so it takes between 3 and 10 tosses to expire. This will be suitable for about 3 players to play the game so that each player is guaranteed to catch the sphero at least once before it expires. If you are going to play with more than 3 players, you should increase the min and max values accordingly. Now, you will use the loop until block. Back in the Blocks 2 activity, when you built the toss game, you compared the accelerometer sensor to a static value of 3 Gs. In Hot Potato, you need to compare two dynamic values, the toss and expire variables, so that when they are equal, that's the until part in the loop until. You can call some conditional logic. Go to Controls and drag a loop until block. You want a comparison that says loop until the toss variable is greater than the expire variable. Then call the blocks within. Given what you've learned, this is pretty easy to write. Go to Comparators and drag a greater than operator, then go to Variables and drag the toss variable to the left side of the statement and the expire variable to the right side. Now, write a code comment on this block to annotate the logic. When you start the game, you want Sphero to impersonate a hot potato. So go to the Lights and Sounds category and drag a main LED block and change it to red. Now go to Movement and drag a raw motor block below. Raw motor controls the motors when stabilization is off. Keep the left motor at zero, set the right motor to 3000, and the duration to 0.1 second. In the next step, you will write the logic for what happens when a toss occurs. Mm -hmm.